Hello, everybody. Uh, nice to meet you. And uh, welcome to the uh, uh, workshop NLP for finance in uh, the Swiss Tech uh, conference. So, my name is Hatem Gorbert. I am professor in the, UE, the University of Applied Science in the uh, Engineering School of uh, Oticola in the French uh, part of Switzerland. And uh, I'm organizing this uh, workshop. Uh, so the program of uh, this workshop, we have uh, we will have two uh, presentations. The first uh, presentation uh, will be will be given by uh, myself, and uh, I will um, address the issue of emotions in uh, uh, in, in in financial data. I will uh, show you uh, some experiment we have uh, conducted with. Uh, uh, Reuters uh, data uh, in order to uh, uh, see whether emotions and uh, sentiments have an impact in uh, forex uh, trading. Uh, and the second presentation will be uh, given by Pedro Costa. He will present his uh, work on uh, BERT based hierarchical regression model to predict trading uh, with uh, also the, the use of. Uh, uh, writer's data. So I will start by the uh, first presentation and uh, I will ask uh, the question about emotions in, uh, in textual data, mainly data from uh, uh, articles, headlines and uh, text and also from social media that are collected from uh, by, uh, by Thompson and writers. And then uh, we will see, uh, so we had uh, access to, uh, with, uh, with academic license to this data, and we, has, uh, and we have done some research in order to, uh, uh, to study with whether we can use this data in uh, forecasting for trading in, uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the Forex market. So the, uh, the study is uh, is also uh, with the uh, with the partnership of uh, of PPI, PPI Partners Investment uh, a Company in uh, Finance Trading in, in Geneva. So the outline of my talk, I will concentrate on the uh, GRMI uh, data. I will uh, first of all describe the data. Then I will present you some uh, experiments uh, we have uh, conducted uh, related to the correlation of different uh, uh, and indices in uh, this uh, TRMI data with the uh, uh, dollar Swiss franc uh, uh, price, and uh, we will uh, provide with different uh, correlations with different uh, features. And after that, we'll uh, see uh, um, we have. Uh, attempt to predict risk in the in the in the in the in the forex mar, uh, in the in the forex uh, market and we will report with the uh, uh, the different um, conclusions that we have uh, found so first of all what is uh, GRMI data it is a uh, thompson Reuters uh, market c uh, and this is uh, so it's uh, it contains a set of uh, scores on uh, different collections. Collections uh, may uh, be attributed to uh, companies and uh, or company groups, or to uh, to currencies, or to countries, uh, to country markets, to uh, crypto uh, cryptocurrencies, to energy material commodities, to agriculture commodities. So this is the uh, the the uh, the seven classes of of uh, where we can find uh, the data. And then there are two types of textual content. One is from news, headlines, and uh, and uh, and uh, and the and the uh, and the body of the of these news. And the second is from uh, social media. So this is the link where you can find this data. We had access to this data um, because we have acquired uh, uh, an academic license from uh, from uh, from the. The company Refinitiv who is distributing this uh, this data. So, what's there exactly in this data? There are scores, scores that come from the the, the aggregation of news in, uh, in in a time window. So we have three different time windows. We have uh, 
mainly uh, so every one minute we can have so here we uh, we will aggregate all the news that we have uh, found from the previous uh, window of one minute with the frequency of one minute the second frequency is uh, one hour each hour will have uh, the aggregation of uh, data over the uh, 24 hour uh, over the, uh, the previous 24 hours. And the third uh, data are daily, uh, in a daily um, frequency. And uh, these are the, the, uh, the aggregation of uh, every day of uh, whole day uh, news. So this is the, 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 uh, the three. Uh, what's there in this data? There are many scores of different emotions. So here, emotions you can find uh, uh, emotions related to fear stress optimism uh, also you can find uh, scores relative uh, to long uh, short long uh, whether it is long or short uh, uh, action to uh, trade to, uh, to to do or for forecast for longer short trade about the direction of the price, about the volatility, about the market risk. So here you can find all the uh, uh, the indices that we can uh, find. So here we had, uh, t uh, uh, for example, an idea about the uh, the uh, the size of the data. So we had uh, uh, eight hundred uh, megabytes over one year only. And uh, when uh, digging this data and uh, extracting uh, really uh, uh, news concerning uh, Swiss franc, we had only four, um, four megabytes, for, for instance. So in more details in, in, uh, in TRMI uh, columns, there are mainly uh, each, 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 um, each text headline or body or uh, we are uh, describing the the rig of the uh, of the uh, of the currency. Uh, it's kind of abbreviation of the of the currency. Uh, when we have really um, data concerning currencies, and then when we have data concerning countries, we have the uh, the codes of the countries. Also, we have specification about the uh, the window timestamp of the uh, the sources, whether it's uh, news or uh social or both news and social uh the system version and then uh, the weight of this course so here in fact this after that we can have uh, more descriptions so here we can for each uh, window whether it is uh, one minute one hour or one day uh, we'll have uh, aggregation of uh, scores and uh, the range is uh, generally uh, between minus one and one or from uh, zero to one it depends on the uh, on the on the uh, on the index so we have indexes uh, related to sentiment related to optimism related to joy love hate trust anger conflict fear gloom stress surprise time urgency and certainly violence emotions or uh, factual uh, factual um, news uh, scores about the uh, market risk, about uh, long short, long short forecast, price direction, price forecast. All these are from minus one to one. Uh, about the volatility, about the carry trade, about the currency, price momentum. So all these are the uh, features that are that we can find in in this in this data. So our aim is to uh, look at this uh, data and then uh, to try to use it in order to uh, uh, predict trading for, we have started by the, uh, uh, year for, by, the by the US dollar and, uh, and, and, and Swiss francs. So what we have done, we have first of all taken the period from uh, uh 2019 until uh, half of 2020 and we have 
manually annotated what we called the risk. So the risk is uh, two classes, risk on and risk off. So when the risk on means that uh, uh, traders have the, uh, uh, the opportunity uh, to, uh, to trade in the, in, in, in the market and the market is really uh, active in this, in this case. And then when risk off, it means that it's a period of everybody's retaining it themselves and then uh, there is no, uh, uh, the, the market is, is, not, is not very, very active. So we have taken this period of uh, 528 days and uh, we had uh, uh, conducted manual annotations day by year by day. And then our aim is to uh, produce a model that is capable to, uh, to learn from this uh, period and then to, uh, uh, to, uh, to classify or even to, uh, to predict uh, one day or two days or three days or five, five days future, uh, the, the right uh, uh, market risk. So here, for instance, uh, in, uh, in red, you can see the, uh, the manual human annotations that, are, that have been performed uh, from this period. So here we see that here's the risk on, and then all the period of uh, uh, August, September, October of 2019, it is considered as a risk off. Uh, same thing after that, you can see that from this uh, period of November, December, end of the year of 2019, it is a, a risk on period and so forth. So we can he here see the, uh, the, uh, the difference or the, uh, on the same plot, uh, what we have taken the uh, the market risk. This is uh, feature in the in the in the TRMI uh, data, and here you can see it's since it's uh, between zero and one. We have uh, so it is really uh, it is it is a score between zero and one. It's a continuous score between zero and one. So you can see that here it's O uh, two for instance. We have some uh, data which is. Uh, which is lacking, so some uh, some gaps in the in the data uh, came from maybe uh, uh, not a number uh, features or uh, values in the in the in the TRM data that we have after that uh, field. But just for sake of uh, presentation, we have made uh, the uh, uh, the things like that. After that, we have. Uh, uh, made some uh, some correlation study, or we have used the uh, the Granger causality test, and we have tried to find what are the most features from TRMI data that have correlation of the price of uh, uh, USD uh, doll, uh, dollar franc um, pair. And, he and here, as you can see, uh, we have made different correlation correlation at T zero, or we have after that we have made uh, some lags uh, by uh, uh, lagging some days between the uh, the two the two features between the price of the uh, of the of the of the forex and then the TRMI uh, data. After that, so we have found that uh, we have some um, features that are uh, uh, that are correlated, so we can find that joy. Is uh, is uh, joy and fear are the best uh, at uh, which are the, the best correlated with this uh, dollar Swiss franc uh, pair? Uh, we have uh, also say so here it is found to be correlated it uh, in a lag of twenty days. Uh, so for fear it's a lag of fifty days. Uh, the, so here, the, the, the best here, here's the best, the best lag that really represent the, uh, the, uh, the highest correlation of causality is a, a, a general, uh, a general table of uh, correlation. We have made the correlation at uh, T uh, zero, just to uh, have uh, an idea. And here again, we have found that the most uh, correlated with the, 
uh, closing price is the uh, trust and the anger uh, features. So here you can see that uh, var uh, by varying the, uh, the lag here, so it's uh, the number of days here, uh, the, uh, the joy feature is, is, really, is really correlate in, uh, in, in, in a lag of 15 days, if you, if you can see here. So it's the, the cross correlation between the price of the pair and then the, uh, the joy feature. Uh, same thing with the anger feature. It's uh, also in a, in a zone of uh, 15 days uh, lag. Uh, for uncertainty, we have found the, the, the best correlation, which is more, uh, it is between five and 10 days. Uh, and uh, for, for this uh, uh, feature of TRMI uh, uncertainty. Uh, here the uh, the uh, between the the volatility. So we can see the volatility is uh, also the best correlation is with the lag of uh, fifteen between fifteen and twenty. So after that, in order to uh, we have decided to choose the uncertainty uh, feature with a correlation uh, uh, and and a lag of five days, and we have try to explain the, uh, the, uh, the market risk, uh, which is manually anno annotated with this, uh, with this feature. So we, uh, we have uh, split it our corpus. It's uh, mm, uh, training and uh, testing. And then we have filled the, uh, the missing values using uh, uh, padding uh, methods. So here, the predicting the uh, the uh, the, uh, the market risk is the uh, uh, we have made the prediction of uh, five days, and uh, you, we have used uncertainty uh, using uh, dense neural uh, network. So the the result is not is not is not uh, uh, very uh, uh, very very uh, uh, convincing in the sense that we can see that. Uh, the training here, the, the loss function between the, uh, the training and uh, the, the validation, which means that the, the result is not, is not really a uh, very, very, uh, uh, very, very, uh, very performant. So we have changed to uh, using an LST, uh, LSTM model. Um, so here the results are uh, somehow better. Uh, we can see here, but you can see here the the the, uh, the precision and recall scores here. They are really mm, as if they are random scores in the sense that uh, yeah, really at at fifty percent maybe. However, the the timing here. So in the uh, in the uh, blue in the blue color, this is the reality, the ground truth, which is a uh, uh, manually and annotated. And then the red is, uh, is the classification that is uh, predicted by the LSTM model. You can say that even the, we have low performance, however, the, the timing is not, is, 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 is consistent in the, in the sense here we are, uh, for, for instance here, it is a, a jump here to off uh, inside, inside the, uh, the time interval of, of on. Uh, in general, it is it is the it is not it is not uh, uh, too bad in uh, in cons in time in temporal consistency. Uh, when we wanted to compare the result with uh, with technical futures, we have uh, made the same experiment, uh, but uh, this time using technical futures uh, from the uh, the financial uh, domain. And here we have. Found that results are better than uh, using uh, the uh, uh, the the risk or the uh, 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 the uncertainty uh, uncertainty uh, uh, feature of the of the TMI, uh, data. So here we can approach here uh, 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 something about uh, seven 
50%. And here you can see that uh, it's, uh, it's, we are approaching better, better uh, uh, result in, in, uh, in, the, in the classification of uh, on and uh, of uh, uh, futures uh, and of uh, trading. So as a conclusion, uh, we have, we can see that the TRMI data, the, these are really, uh, it, is, it is very, uh, 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 it is a collection of uh, uh, a mixture of news and uh, social. Uh, however, we, found, we find that they are not really very relevant in, in predicting uh, the risk in, in, in the forex in the forex market and then they do less uh, less less uh, 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 than the uh, the technical uh, uh, drivers that uh, uh, that are used to do in uh, in, the, in the in the financial domain we have also have a mixture we have added the uh, uh, more drivers other than uh, uncertainty and we we have added them to the technical drivers. However, the result didn't improve the uh, the technical drivers. So, uh, to do to say that uh, this this uh, emotion annotations that are used in the TRMI data uh, they are uh, they are not very very uh, interesting or efficient in in trading or in uh, in, uh, in in trading prediction, and uh, we. Uh, continually using technical uh, uh, drivers of pr and price uh, uh, drivers uh, uh, for, for this um, task of, of, of forecasting. So my talk is, uh, is finished with these uh, conclusions and uh, I will be uh, glad to receive your uh, questions about this, uh, this work. Hello, thank you very much for the presentation. It's a very interesting topic. I would have a question regarding the, the training there. You, you, we saw in the images that the train loss was higher than the validation loss. Do you have an explanation for that? Yes, so the, the explanation for that is that we have a very restricted uh, data set. It is, uh, 526 uh, days and then uh, the uh, uh, we have chosen the the training as being the first period and the test as being the last period and uh, what we have remarked is that the the, the model was trained on a, on a on a difficult period and then was tested on a, on on a period which is more, uh, uh, more, more simple. If you want, there are not a lot of uh, shifts of uh, on and off uh, 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 days. So this is our explanation. And uh, another explanation is that the uh, the model didn't really, uh, since the the data is not is not the uh, the training data is not a lot. It didn't really capture the the. The, the, the main correlation of, of this uh, uncertainty uh, feature. I see, thank you. You're welcome. Um. I have another question. So essentially, what you went through is uh, you use some sentiments and emotions to try and see whether you can predict forex markets. And of course, it's quite difficult to do. The nature of forex markets is quite unstable. Uh, but um, would you say there's some further uh, further experiments you could do, further work on these to see uh, whether you know something could work? Uh, because, like for example, you use the validation set. 
that is uh, the end, uh, essentially, right? So you only use the validation set that is the last days. So perhaps you could do a form of um, k-fold validation since you are essentially assessing a time series and maybe the model could optimize better through that. Uh, it could be that further data could improve that. Uh, do you have any um, ideas you could share so we can think about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the validation of uh, look forward is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, something that we, that we have already also applied. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the typical, it's typically the, uh, the used validation for, for time series. Uh, it didn't uh, improve much the, uh, the result. However, I think that the, 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 the most interesting thing to do is to, uh, uh, to enlarge the, uh, the data set, the sense that 500 days are not enough uh, to, uh, to figure out the, uh, the, uh, the result of, uh, of uh, or, the, or the impact of this. Uh, of this uh. Uh, furthermore, we have remarked something that is very important mainly in the in the in the sentiment analysis uh, part if you want if you in the in the uh, in the um, either in the in the emotions or in the in the polarity annotation we have remarked something is that the uh, the way that is done that is scored by uh, 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 by Thompson and writers they 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 are using uh, back of words as you all know in sentiment analysis or any other emotion classification. And here, the problem is that uh, by this uh, back of the approach, you are, you are trying to uh, encompass uh, a, a, large, uh, a, a large market. It means that you can be positive for the Swiss franc, but negative for uh, the, the US dollar. So, if you are really trading a pair, which is uh, USDT, uh, Swiss franc, you should know what, what does it mean, positive emotion or negative emotion? Is the positive emotion, is it related to the dollar or is it related to the Swiss franc? Is the polarity that we have made, this is a positive message or a positive headline. Is it related to the, uh, to the pair, if we if we say the pair, it means the, the U.S. dollar, and then and the Swiss franc. And this it means that for the U.S. dollar, you are positive, so you are negative for the Swiss franc. So this uh, this this uh, this work uh, in our uh, sense should be a, a, a fine trained, uh, fine grained uh, uh, analysis. We should know what is the subject in the in the sentence, in this in the sense, if we if we can uh, find that uh, the U.S. dollar, uh, the U.S. Uh, dollar falls into, for example, so this is a negative sentence because there is false. However, it is negative for the U.S. dollar, but it is positive for the Swiss franc. And in this way, the the polarity could not capture the uh, the uh, the pair unless you know what is the subject and what is the object of the, uh, of the, of the polarity. And that's what we are now doing. We are uh, doing uh, uh, a more uh, uh, detailed analysis using dependency or parses in order to know uh, who is uh, uh, the positive when we, when we find a positive uh, 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 sentence uh, what is positive, the US dollar or the Swiss franc? And what is negative? And in this way, we can, after that, uh, normalize into the, uh, into the, uh, the, uh, the pair and then know uh, from this perspective uh, whether we are going to, uh, 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 to, 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 to keep the polarity as it is or whether we want to inverse it if we are really talking about uh, the subject of the Swiss franc and, and not the, uh, the, the, uh, the US dollar. Yeah, uh, cool. that's what I had in mind. And, uh, 
both a TRMI and a TRNA data set uh, of both. I'm not a huge fan of the techniques they use to produce sentiment and emotions. It makes sense. And, you know, it's um, right now there's so much better techniques which could be used. And uh, yeah, if like a good analysis, a good research is done and something is publicly avail available, it could help traders who could use this. Um, whether it works or not at some point we will figure that out and i think we all know there's some more availability for these kind of things on more um, industry related um, more interested uh, industry um, companies that have the resources to research to research to that level but yeah like um, so from this talk my takeaway point would be with the current resources we can't achieve much and it would be good if you know more modern techniques are applied and published to researchers such as this situation exactly from for 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 these reasons we have decided to go back to the world level so we do not we do no more look at these uh, scores but we use the data and we do our uh, data analysis ourselves from the uh, the world perspective and this is and this is the uh, the uh, the aim of the talk of the Pe of, of of pedro who used the trna uh, data but he didn't use its uh, sentiment polarities or scores but he used it as words uh, and uh, a sequence of words in order to integrate this uh, analysis into uh, the uh, trading of uh, for the same uh, for the same pair of uh, uh, dollar and uh, Swiss franc. So I give the uh, background to uh, Pedro. Please go ahead, Pedro. Yes. And share your screen. Uh, I will share my my screen. Um, okay. Mm. So I stop sharing. Oh, um, I just need to restart uh, Zoom, just a second. Okay. Hi, Hatem. Um, Simone here. Just a quick question while um, Pedro is restarting the session. I just wondered how did you measure trust or was that already measured in the data set? I'm so sorry. Uh, could you please repeat, Simone? Yeah. So my question was how did you measure trust? There was an independent variable um, okay. parameter that you used trust, yeah. and I'm just wondering how it was measured. Hey, so Simon, uh, 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 we really don't know how uh, how Thompson and Regis have measured this uh, this score. So we have uh, the data is is delivered as it is. You see. So for us, we didn't. Uh, it's not. Uh, uh, it's not. Uh, it's not uh, our work who has uh, uh, defined this score. So this is uh, defined from. Uh, uh, Thompson and Reuters. Okay, thanks. What they have done is that they they collect data uh, from the previous uh, one minute or one hour, and uh, and then they aggregate all this uh, data together, and then they induce uh, a certain score on uh, emotions with their classifiers, and then they uh, they buy the data as it is. Don't know if this is clear. Um, yeah, thanks. And, and I think for... Pedro is now ready, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, Pedro. Go ahead. Are here, Pedro? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Sorry. Uh, do you do you see my screen? Yes, we see my screen. Okay. okay. So um, today I will show you. Uh, the presentation for my master thesis and uh, the aim of my master thesis was to 
produce the, the very base hierarchical aggregation model. So from our outline, I will introduce the, the paper, the subjects, and I will uh, show you the analysis of uh, the, the model and how I implemented, implemented it and uh, the results and the valorization. So as uh, Hatem have introduced, we have uh, a boy, um, uh, a corpus from Refinitive. Um, he has described TUMI. Uh, I will use here in my thesis uh, TRA and A. And uh, the, the, the main goal is to use uh, this corpus in, uh, in a multi-head model, model to predict in the Forex uh, market. So the, the idea is to um, also use a, a currency pair, here the USDT uh, and the Swiss franc. Um, and uh, what we want to do is to predict long or short uh, position. Long is when you first buy uh, the, 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 for example, you, you buy here a Swiss franc at a low rate and oh, sorry, and you sell it at a higher rate to, to make your money. And the second position is short. And when you want to sell it at a high uh, position and at a high price, sorry, and uh, buy it at a lower price. So to do that, we have found uh, the, the, the paper uh, which uh, has been made in, uh, to, in um, 2019 and uh, based on this paper we have uh, searched for related works for summarization and for expedition within LP to see what has uh, been done at the moment to compare and see if it was the, the right idea to, to go with this paper. The main idea of the paper is uh, shown here with the model. Uh, the acronym is BHAM or BAM if you want to, <laughs> to pronounce it the, this way. The main idea is that we have two inputs. We have news inputs with TRNA and trade data inputs with the current prices of the pair, currency pair. How we treat the, the news is to firstly categorize it, C1, C2, CL, with uh, TRNA categories. For example, uh, government and affair, uh, this type of uh, categories. And um, we put them in uh, BERT, uh, the, the, the model from Google, to convert the news in multidimensional uh, vectors. Once we have uh, the, 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 the translate of the news in values, we can use the CLS, so the, the embeddings of the news, to measure, uh, measure a score, which is done here in the score layer. And this score layer, with, after, sorry, after this score layer, we can do summarization. We keep only the K best news to represent the category. So at the end of, of all this, uh, uh, all this uh, process, we have G1, G2, G2, GL, two, uh, and that, that have uh, all um, uh, K news and uh, the best representation of each category. In the, in the, the same time, we have uh, a multi-layer perception that will process the representation of the trade data in a vector RT that will, uh, that will be used to apply uh, attention on the news. So we have here uh, a node, we have a, an aggregation point where we apply uh, an attention layer from the representation of the trade values to each new group uh, for all the news. This aggregation will be um, represented you know, with RS that will that is then used in the softmax to predict the movement. So as I mentioned before, 
either we predict a long position or a short position. To implement uh, the, the paper and the model that I uh, just show, um, we, we have a system of sampling. For that, we have here, for example, uh, one sample which is composed, oh, sorry, which is composed with an input window. Here we have two days and a prediction delay, which will determine the label of the window. And we have an overlap, uh, which means that the second sample could start at uh, the middle of the preceding uh, sample. It's not mandatory to start the next sample at the end of the preceding sample. To predict, to to um, to decide the label of the window of the sample, we have uh, two ways to do that. The first one is the one used in the paper, which is uh, the trend prediction. And to do that, we uh, we uh, we subtract the last price from uh, the sorry the the yes the last price from the, the the first price and we see the difference if the difference is positive we have a, a, a positive label and if we have a negative difference we have a negative label and the idea here is to uh, associate the prediction to the position We have a second way to do that, which is way more accurate uh, for the, the, the financial position, and uh, which is uh, directly correlated with long and short position. We use here the triple value. And the, the idea behind this is uh, to take a window uh, on our, uh, our series and see if the, the currency pair hit the up um, the, the up limit of this uh, square, which is the triple barrier square um, or rectangle. Uh, we have a long position because we we want to uh, buy the, the the currency at a lower price and sell it at a higher price. If uh, we have here a second example, if we hit the lower buyer, then we take a short position because the the the, um, the down position, the lower the down uh, limit here has been taken. If if no uh, no no limitation uh, has been hit, we already uh, we we decided how to decided if it's a short or long depending on the position of the last price. Here, for example, on the three uh, on the last triple barrier, we have a lower price uh, based on the higher price at the starting of the triple barrier. So we have a short. I don't know if it's clear, but uh, you could ask later if it's not. For the news uh, corpus, we have made a little uh, graph for this distribution. Um, for all the, the news we get, we have a training of six years. We started our uh, corpus from 2010 and end the corpus the training corpus at 2016 and the validation or test corpus uh, starts from 2016 and end at 2019. But the overall corpus contain 10 billion uh, million news, sorry, 10 million news, and, and uh, the size uh, distribution for each, each news is at the mean of uh, 14 words and the third quartile is at 30 words. So to uh, select a maximum size for each news, we decided to take it very large uh, proportion and set the maximum words uh, for each news to be at 50 uh, words. 
Here we have a table uh, that uh, show each category of the tRNA corpus. Um, and uh, we have uh, labeled with color these categories. The gray ones are the ones we don't want to, to take because they are very too uh, large and contain very too many uh, um, news that are very uh, uh, geographically, uh, geographically uh, uh, different because we only want to have uh, news that come from Switzerland and the USA because we want to focus on the uh, USD and Swiss franc currency pair. So based on this, this ID, we have selected uh, all the white ones. We have decided also to merge the orange one because they are too vague and went to, and they are merged in the uh, other category. And the green one, uh, all are merged in the sports uh, category. Based on the selected category, we have done some statistics. And the idea, the idea here is to see how many news we have per sample. As I mentioned in the starting of uh, the presentation, uh, we use sample uh, with temporal window. And our sample is, um, is of five days. So here we have uh, four categories that contain uh, uh, a lot of news per sample. We have business sector that contain uh, 11,000 news in mean for the five days. We have asset class property with uh, 1,000 in 1,500. Uh, commodity and government politics. And we have decided that because they contain a lot of news uh, compared to other one, for example, currency, there, there isn't in, uh, a lot of news. Um, we, we keep only the four, this fourth one, the, this fourth one. In a technical point of view, um, the sample are described uh, like this. We have a list of three values. The first value uh, is the, the news which is classified with the category. So we have a dictionary with category one uh, uh, to category four or M. Uh, and uh, each category are represented with a data frame that contain the, the news and the, the timestamp. The second value uh, is the, the trade values, which also is a data frame and contain all the, the prices uh, from the currency pair. And the third and last value is the label. So here in the, our case, the triple value label. How to manage all these news and how uh, we have done that with the categories. Here uh, he is represented the stacked categories and each of but this category contains three tensors. So those three tensors are the needed tensors, tensors to translate the, the, the raw news into multidimensional vectors for BERT, with BERT. And uh, we have input IDs, token type IDs, and the mask that all contains 15 news and with a batch size of eight. And as I mentioned, we have set the maximum number of words uh, for each news at 50 words, which means that we have ton source for each category. And if we stack each of those category, we have final ton source that are eight times four times 15, which, uh, which results into 40, 18, 40, 40, 480 um, uh, stacked values, stacked embed embedders, which means that for all the four 
categories we stacked each news and uh, we pass every news to BERT. For the trade values, it's a bit easier. We have the data frame here uh, with the trade values that uh, is directly passed to the multi-layer perception that will receive then the trade representation and will be used to process the attention for each category. So here, an example is uh, maybe uh, for um, G1, we have a, a more uh, attention that is higher um, compared to the other one. So we, we can assess that the trade representation focus more on the, the category G1 than the other one. Here is uh, the final model, which uh, we have implemented uh, during my thesis. We have replaced BERT with uh, Roberta, that is, uh, uh, that is uh, done from, by, uh, by Facebook and is a, a bit more robust and more efficient than BERT. Um, and uh, we have replaced uh, the label here, uh, the trend prediction with the triple value. So the model performed quite well compared uh, to the three um, baselines. The first baseline is uh, a cat boost that performed uh, very not well. And um, this is the same as the uh, a news encoder. So to explain these two baseline, the first one, just use the prices and have no news uh, in this, uh, this, this uh, baseline. The second baseline only use the news. So as we can see, those two baselines doesn't perform very well. The MLP is the, uh, this multi perception is used on its own to try to predict the label. And we, here we can see that the MLP is a robust part of the BAM model and perform quite well on its own. When we add news to BAM and therefore to the MLP, we have a, a gain of a, a certain gain, a gain compared to the MLP. We reach uh, 0 0.559 uh, accuracy. Here uh, we we do um, uh, statistics over ten runs to show that the model doesn't perform good only on one run. So uh, over 10 runs, we have a mean accuracy of uh, 0.58. A good point uh, from this model is that uh, we perform uh, um, uh, a news score layer and we retrieve those scores to uh, show the, the user how the model sees the news. So this is a, a table that show you the K best news. Uh, here we have a top three news from the, the 15 uh, upper news. So the model sees that uh, these two last and the first news are the best one to, uh, to predict at its best uh, way uh, the, the label. So uh, this is the end of the, the presentation. Uh, I may have not been <laughs> very clear. If you want to ask some question, you can uh, you can ask now, and I will try to to respond uh, if I can. Thank you very much, Pedro. I have uh, already received a question. Uh, so the input sequence length might be different from each other between news categories. How did you aggregate the inputs? Did you truncate them to BERT's maximum length, 512, 
Yes, so um, here, if I if I really take um, this this uh, this uh, scheme, um, we have we have um, decided to truncate all our our news to fifty words, because uh, we have done here the news distribution over all the corpus, and we have seen that the third quartile uh, of the news uh, distribution reach thirty words. But we want to to very to include the, the most uh, the, 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 most of the news. So to do that, we have decided to truncate our news to fifty words. And here is the explanation of how we truncate our our words. We we tell uh, the birth tokenizer to truncate uh, all the news inputs to 50 words. And so therefore we have here uh, 10 source with um, 50 values at most. Yes, so for there is no problem for BERT since it is for 512 and here you are already at uh, 15 words. And yes. 50 words, yes. Okay. And uh, yes, I, we, we only use headlines here. Um, yes. uh, the the the, uh, the we have uh, um, four GPUs, and uh, it's uh, four GPUs is always is uh, already too too little to to treat a lot of news. Uh, we we need higher uh, performances to to treat longer text, and uh, to do that, um, we we need either to use uh, better hardware, or uh, what we can do is to um, use the body, but uh, only by selecting uh, uh, the, the, the K first uh, sentences. As um, I mentioned in, uh, in, the, in the, the beginning of the, the, the presentation, during my analysis of my master thesis, I have uh, seen that some paper for summar summarization uh, only selects the first uh, sentences of, uh, of a news article and they have shown uh, that uh, it, uh, it's, it's very, it's, uh, um, how to, do, to say that, it's, uh, it's sufficient to, to represent the, the whole idea and the whole con uh, content of the, the article. So if you want, for example, to use the body of a news, you can only keep uh, the, the K, best, uh, the K uh, first layer, uh, first sentence. Okay, thank you, Pedro. Is there another question? Thank you again, Pedro, for your presentation. And if Welcome. there's no more questions, thank you very, mu very much for your attention, for your, your participation, and uh, see you in the next sessions. Have a nice, tap have a nice afternoon, everybody. Bye.